Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Tyler Simone and you are watching Reading in Black. So I decided that I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I don't want to talk about books that have already been written. I want to talk about books that I want to be written. Today I'm going to be listing off a few black entertainers and or athletes that I think should definitely write a memoir. This is a memoir request. Maybe it'll manifest something. If you have anybody in mind that you want to write a memoir one day, please list them down below. This list is in no order at all. The first person on my list is Drake. Now, tell me that wouldn't be an amazing memoir. His rise to fame was unheard of. People were shocked. He was independent for a while and nobody knew where he came from, but we as children knew we saw him on TV before and people put two and two together. We discovered that he first appeared to us on Degrassi and we've just loved him ever since. Um, well, I have, I don't know about you. In this memoir, I would hope that he would go into his rap beef with Pusha T because he was in some beef and it went down. I would love to know a little bit more about that. I also wanna know what it was like for him to go from single, living the rapper's life, to having a son and being a father and what that transition was like and what it was like for the press and the entire world to have such negative things to say about his baby's mother. In his memoir, I would hope that he went into a little bit of that. Someone else's memoir that I would love to read would be Darius Rucker. So Darius Rucker is a country music artist. He is black. If you see me looking over here, I have some notes. I didn't want to forget anything. He is the first black artist to reach number one on the hot country song chart since Charlie Pride in 1983. So it's been a while. But yes, I would love to know what it's like to be in his shoes as a black country music singer. Stevie Wonder. That memoir would be freaking amazing. Stevie Wonder not only is one of the greatest artists of all time, he created hit after hit, but he is also somewhat of a symbol of the ability to create something amazing considering your circumstances. He has made it so far in his life because of music and it's something that he loves and he appeals to a wide crowd. I think that his journey is just remarkable. This next one was a must. He had to make the list. He is none other than Jay-Z, entrepreneur, rapper, songwriter, producer, executive, all of the above and more. Probably, he's he's done a lot of things. He's founded multiple multi-million dollar corporations. He keeps things very secret, which is very interesting to me. The people who keep their lives a mystery seem to do pretty well, you know, going about their life in that way. Because I wrote down some people that I know of and I had to narrow it down to who I actually want to read about. There are celebrities who you sometimes wonder certain things about, but there are only a handful of people that you really want to learn from. Jay-Z is absolutely one of those people. I want to know what it's like to be married to a successful, driven woman, AKA Beyonce, AKA Queen B. What is that like? I have to know. Next on my list is Will Smith. Um, hello, we need that. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Bad Boys, Men in Black, Seven Pounds, I Am Legend, I Robot, Pursuit of Happiness. He has sustained his career and has stayed relevant in, I think, the best possible way. I think that Will Smith has an amazing personality and he keyed in on that personality in the best way, creating this character of himself, which is really just himself. He kind of gives me Denzel vibes, not because they look alike, but because they both are so 
sellable as themselves. Another memoir that I would love to read would be a memoir written by Van Jones, who is a commentator on CNN. I think that he does an amazing job of sticking up for people of color. I think that it takes a lot of courage to be on as big of a platform as he's on CNN to speak as clearly and eloquently as he does to constantly put himself in the shoes of the people that he's talking about. I have a lot of men on my list. What's that all about? The next person on my list is Kanye. We're going to need a memoir. We're going to need a memoir and we're going to need it like yesterday. We needed it two three years ago. I want to know what's going on in Kanye's head. Can you imagine what that book would look like? It would probably be written in his own handwriting. Not only was he one of the most popular rappers of his time and and you know some of his records are still pretty up there but he is also married or I mean now I don't know if they're married I don't know I can't keep up um, but he was married if he's not married to her anymore he was married to Kim Kardashian one of the most famous women in the world it's pretty much the same interest that I have in Jay-Z what is it like to be the husband to such a woman I need to know his decision to run for president where did that idea come from exactly I would love that typed out in a book. Being outspoken in the press about his political views and how that affected his respectability in the eyes of other black people. When I talk to black people about Kanye, they have this sense of abandonment change as if they loved Kanye at one point and now they don't because of things that he said and the way that he's acted and so I wonder what it's been like to speak honestly about where you stand politically even if that means the people from your community won't agree and they'll be upset about it they'll turn their back on you and all that other stuff we don't know what it's like on the other side of that so definitely need to know a little bit more about that.